Hi guys, Dane here, and welcome to another episode of Five Buckish Facts. Today, we're taking a look at five facts about Edgar Allan Poe, and this was requested by Sophie from Sophisticated Books. Apologies for my rubbishy copies of Edgar Allan Poe's work. I'm, I'm, obviously, this isn't all of his work. I've got his, I've got The Raven and other favourite poems and selected tales. And, uh, yeah. I don't know, I just buy books for what's in them rather than based on whether they look pretty or not. This has nothing to do with the actual video, so let's just go ahead and get started. Okay, fact number one is quite a short one, and it's super relevant to me because obviously I have Biggie Cobain, my cat, and that's that Edgar Allan Poe was uh, obsessed with cats. He really liked cats, and he quite often used to write with a cat sitting on his shoulder. I've tried to get Biggie to do that, but it doesn't work. But sometimes he comes to sit here while I'm writing, so that's nice. So fact number two, Edgar Allan Poe is credited with introducing the literary detective. You know, we often think of people like Sir Arthur Conan Doyle and Sherlock Holmes and, and maybe later on Agatha Christie with Miss Marple and with Poirot. So it's actually Poe who's credited with creating the first literary detective and that was in The Murders in the Rue Morgue back in 1941. But he didn't create the word itself that was in use at the time and there are records of it being used before then. But this is the first fictional detective story. Yeah. So Poe is arguably most well known for The Raven, you could say The Telltale Heart maybe, and obviously The Murders on the Rue Morgue as well. When he wrote The Raven, it was actually a personal challenge to himself. So he specifically wanted to write a 100 line poem because he thought that was enough for one sitting. And uh, the end poem was 108 lines, which was good enough. He also wanted to use a parrot instead of a raven, but he felt that it didn't get the right tone, which is kind of fair enough. He is known for his sort of gothic style, and I don't know if a parrot would have done it. Fact number four, please bear with me because I am going to have to read bits of this off the screen. Poe only wrote one novel and that was the narrative of Arthur Gordon Pym of Nantucket. And that was a boat capsizing and then each of the crew members were forced to draw straws to decide who'd be eaten. So they drew straws in the novel and ate somebody called Richard Parker. The book didn't do very well at the time, even though Poe insisted it was a true story. And uh, it wasn't a true story, he made it up, but here's where the weird bit comes in. So five years later, a similar wreck happened and there was somebody called Richard Parker on board, but there was no cannibalism. And then in 1884, there was another wreck where there was cannibalism and one of the people who was eaten was called Richard Parker. So Edgar Allan Poe's wife Virginia died at the young age of 24 and Poe was so devastated that he just sort of put his writing career on halt and went into uh, mourning. He died only two years after she died and he spent those last two years travelling and giving lectures. Also, nobody actually knows what killed him. His cause of death is still unknown. One last thing to add, just after his death as well, he had a rival. His name was Rufus Griswold, which sounds like an Edgar Allan Poe kind of name as well. It's great. And Rufus Griswold wrote this really really negative obituary about Edgar Allan Poe with the aim of kind of destroying his posthumous career but it, it actually backfired and it made Poe's sales skyrocket. So there we have it. Those are five facts about Edgar Allan Poe. Don't forget to let me know with a comment what else you would like an episode on. So any authors, series, genres, books even, you name it, I will give it a go. And in the meantime, thanks a lot for watching and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.